Hey guys, welcome to another video. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Today, in this video, I will be teaching you guys how to change your NAT type in GTA 5 from strict to moderate by using VPNs or what you would call virtual private networks that I found on the internet and actually worked for me and my friends. So as you can see right now, I am logged in to my GTA account and we will check the current status of my NAT type. Go here click on this icon right here and then go to settings go to network information and oh so right now mine is another it so yours right here might actually say that it is on strict so if you're having that problem right now especially having those frequent disconnections when you're playing with your friends follow this video and yeah i hope you will be able to change it to moderate let's go Okay, so right here on our desktop, we are going to open up our favorite browser. For me, it's Chrome because of all the extensions. And then we're going to type in Windscribe right there and click enter. And the first thing you see here on top, we're going to click that. And over here, we are going to download Windscribe. Click this. And then if you're on Windows, you're going to click this right here. Download it. And as you can see, it will start downloading. Click it, then it's going to ask you this. And then you will have the setup right here. Just go next and then click finish. That is how easy it is to install it. So as you can see right here, you have a balance and it says two gigabytes left. And once this reaches zero, this right here would not work anymore. So we will change this into 10 gigabytes by registering a free account in Winscribe. So we are going to click this and then right over here we're going to click sign up. And then over here we are going to fill all of this up, username, password, uh, password again, and the email which it will send the confirmation code. So, And once you are able to fill this all up, check your email and you will see the confirmation, the verification code. So mine is here as you can see, welcome to Winscribe, confirm your email address. And all you have to do is click confirm email. So it says here that your email has been confirmed. You can close this window now. And then as you can see right there, it changed from two to 10. And if you actually want five more gigabytes, what you can do is scroll down from your email and then tweet right here, tweet about us and we'll give you five gigabytes per month. So I will click this. And then log in over here my account so right over there it says want an extra five gigabytes of free data go here click to tweet and then just click tweet so so right over here we are going to click click here to tweet right over there and then it's going to bring us to this Twitter page and we're going to click tweet. So after clicking tweet, what we're going to do next is we're going to enter our Twitter username and mine is right here at Ed the Asis. If you want to follow me, you could actually do so. I mean, I'm not really posting much, but like, yeah. And then we're going to click give me more data. Then it's going to process. And then as you can see right now, it says that you have upgraded to a 15 gigabyte plan. As you can see right there, it says, thanks for tweeting. Hey, Ed, we saw your tweet right here. So here is extra five gig of data as we promised, blah, blah, blah. So we have that done. And all we have to do is click to the best location that we have. So, so far, the best that, so, so far here in the Philippines, the best one that we tried is in Hong Kong and I'm just going to put a favorite there click that and then I'm going to click on so as you can see right here it actually says that it is now connected to Winscribe Hong Kong and this is the IP it gave me what we're going to do next is open up GTA 5 Okay, so right now we are now online. So after you've finally logged in, what you're going to do next is you're going to open up home again. Go to here, this icon, go to settings, network information. And right now you might be able to see that your NAT type 
is on moderate instead of strict which is a whole lot better in my opinion i mean even my friends have a whole lot better experience playing on moderate than on strict and yeah so that's it for today's video guys i hope you were able to change your nat type from strict to moderate i mean it's a whole lot of new experience when playing on moderate i hope you will be able to play with your friends more without frequent disconnections and yeah if you have any questions go down in the comments put them down below if you were able to change your nat type from strict to moderate please click that subscribe button if i helped you and i'll see you guys in the next video as always don't hate appreciate see you in the next one Bye.